The new face of Africa, I believe, is one that is able to collaborate a bit better. Um, we need to create a pan-African movement in terms of Africa. We need an Africa that is bold. We need leadership that is able to tap into the hearts of the people in Africa. Uh, Africa that is united and is able to stand up um, for one another. And an Africa that is able to create independence in terms of its different industries, different resources, and an Africa that will therefore enhance the living conditions of most Africans. The experience that I've had with the fellowship is one that I, I never anticipated. My view of Africa, my view of myself as an African, has become more pan-Africanist. Um, when I think of myself in the sphere of my influence, I don't just think of how it's going to transform just my life or the people around me, but pan-Africa. You know, what am I doing in my daily life to contribute to the African story. So a consciousness has arisen inside of me as an African. Um, so the program, that's what the program has done for me. I believe the challenges that leadership in Africa face today is the biggest one being the anomaly of Africa. There's so much, um, so much opportunity in Africa. And Africa rising versus um, a society that is diminishing, a society that is suffering in the midst of all the success is the biggest challenge that leadership face. And to match the two and start creating a balance and bring the two together is, I believe, what's key and obviously a challenge to them and myself as a leader, I suppose. The kind of youth or young leaders that need to be emerging at this time that will take on this Africa in the next 10 years or 15 years are leaders that are bold, leaders that are effective, and leaders that are operational and knowledgeable. I think our youth today is very much consumed in the now and what is happening now, not, not really looking up and seeing what the effect of what is happening today and what they're doing today will affect their country, will affect their continent um, in the next 20, 50 years. You have to have the knowledge of, of what is happening currently in our society. What are those things that are gonna result in a better Africa or result in a worse off Africa? And in, in what they're doing today and what informs them today will result in how our country and how our continent looks like in 20 years time.